Okay guys, here we go. I'm going to do a series of uh, a few videos, some old ones as well, make a playlist of things to do right at the beginning of the game, chapter two, as soon as you can, as soon as you have access to the open play aspect of the entire game world. Um, and uh, we're going to show you just two or three very straightforward things that you can do to collect a couple of trinkets, uh, a couple of weapons, best in game horse and so on um, that you might as well have right from the start of chapter 2 so that you get the benefit throughout the entire game. I'm going to show you where we are on the map. First port of call should be up here right in the northwest. Northwest of Valentine. You'll be around Valentine uh, quite a lot in the early game anyway. Um, so so it's not far. Uh, you can. This is Lake Isabella, right, just by the A of Amberino. So we're going to get the uh, legendary white bison. We're going to get a material for a trinket from up here. You can get the white uh, Arabian, which is near best in game horse, from up here. I've already got it, but I'll put a put the video where I show you do, me doing that in the playlist as well. Um, there's a legendary salmon here. If you're collecting those, there's I think uh, one of the drawers, the rock drawings up here, um, and there's also one of the gunfighters. If you collect that quest in Valentine already as well, um, that's Colter by the way. That's where you started out, and the Adler Ranch. If you want to revisit those, it's not much to look at there. Uh, but uh, yeah, this is definitely should be, I would say, one of your first ports of call. As soon as you're, uh, as soon as you get cracking on the um, on the chapter two, okay. So here you are. Here's the best in game horse, the White Arabian. Yep. Very very good and transforms your gameplay, um, especially once you've got your horse bonding, horse bonding. Excuse me, up to level four, um, fast, manoeuvrable, and so on. Now look, top left of the screen, you have entered legendary animal territory. These legendary animals. Uh, you can watch a few of my videos of me collecting those. Um, when I played through, I didn't bother with them because I thought they'd be hard. They're not. They're dead easy, uh, even for beginners. And um, the materials you get from them, generally, uh, they're worth quite a lot of money. They can make special clothes, which are cool, um, and also some specialist items, which will help you. And there's also a couple of uh, materials they'll give you, which... Uh, will give you very useful trinkets right from the start. So if you've not uh, done this before, and um, there are several other of my videos that you can watch of me doing legendary animals, but they all follow the same sort of pattern. Once you get that little heads up in the top left hand corner, you know you're in the right area. Um, you don't have to wait, by the way. You see that I've got the map here and I've been past here before, so that's why there's the drawing there. Um, you can also buy the uh, legendary animal map, which, oops, what am I doing? Documents, which looks like this if you come across the guy that sells it, uh, and shows you roughly where everything is. So you can see the 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 white bison just at the top, um, top left there, just by beside the legendary animals. Um, logo, but you don't need that um, if you know roughly where they are. And having watched this video, you do. So this is I'm going to show you the the white bison and the boar, which are the ones worth having. So what you do is once you're in the right area, once you get that flag up in your in the top left of your screen, you enter Eagle Eye and uh, you look for the you look for the telltale signs of the first clue which you can see is down there now I've done this before and in fact I've just done this before once about 10 minutes ago and screwed it up which I might well upload to tell you how not to do it um, but so I kind of knew it was down there you might have to stumble around a bit with eagle eye but look down bottom left minimap there's also a question mark when you've got eagle eye on so um, Oh. That might well be a s slightly different location from last time. So, 
can't necessarily rely on them being in the same place, but um, roughly. Yeah, so we're tracking over here. Follow the follow the trail. Trail runs out, but just keep going and uh, get eagle eye on. <laughs> this one, there it is. This one was tricky last time. This is our old friend, Mr. Bison Dung. There we go, and there's the next track. Now, there's, as far as I can tell, there's pretty much always three clues, so that's two. And once we get the third one over here, so you follow the trail until you see the, the, the yellow smoke with your eagle eye. And that's clue number three, broken sticks. Rains fall, broken sticks. And then you, f you see the next trail and there's the animal. It's a bison, it's big. So no trouble spotting it. And uh, ideally you'd have a hunting rifle for this just to be able to take him down in two or three shots. But you can use any weapon you want. This is the point, is that it doesn't matter. The quality of the, um, the, quality of the hide you get will be legendary, whatever happens, right? Oh, I forgot. <laughs> I didn't bring a rifle at all. So I'm, I'm going to pistol him to death. Try not to... Uh, Yeah, that elk to death as well. Um, yeah, so the reason it, you might be put off doing this straight away. Yeah, we can't pick him up. We're going to have to skin him, aren't we? Um, the reason you might be put off trying this straight, straight away is that getting perfect animal pelts um, from uh, hunting is a bit of a skill and does require a bit of practice and sometimes the varmint rifle or the or this bow and arrows or things like that but there's no reason not to start with the legendary straight away because this is going to be the legendary pelt whatever happens so there we are the legendary bison horn that's the thing we want to craft the bison horn talisman as it says in the top left there so it's the bison horn talisman that we're after so there we go we're going to stow that on our trusty steed and we are going to head straight thank you thank you to um the next ta next task which is heading up here because there's a cave up here that has another talisman material that we need. So one of the tricks of making this game less tiresome than some people have been finding it is to make sure that you're um let's see where we are, make sure that you're doing several things at once in 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 the areas that you're visiting. I've got a feeling I haven't actually looked at exactly where this cave is. I think it's around here. So like I say, while you're up here, you collect that legendary bison. Yes, there we are. So let's let's look exactly on the map. Oh, that was a really good guess, wasn't it? So it's just there. And like I say, the white Arabian horse is around here. You can also go fishing for the salmon while you're here. So if you can group your your tasks geographically um, with a bit of homework, then it does make the game uh, a lot less cumbersome, onerous. So there's uh, a poor unfortunate traveller. We search the chest. Take some money. It's always appreciated. But this is what we're after, the cobalt petrified wood. So that is going to help us make a very valuable trinket indeed. Oh, there's a wolf. 
so we don't want to get involved with the bulls if we uh, if we can I'm just gonna clear off there so that's those two things taken care of like I say while you're up here you can also collect the white Arabian or you should collect the white Arabian horse if you haven't done so already I'm gonna take this skin off to the trapper and then I'm going to head down to Saint Denis and roads these areas here um, which as I say are also available straight away and uh, once you know what you're looking for there's no reason not to go exploring right from the start okay so that's that for now and uh, stay tuned for the next part <laughs>